Most people I talk to are totally gobsmacked and shocked when I tell them that up to 7% of all global energy emissions come from concrete. 7%. And that's a reflection of the fact that 3.5% of global energy is spent heating the stuff up to make it, and 3.5% of the carbon dioxide comes out, as you know, when you add the water. You, know, you get this huge, huge reaction going on, and we get the concrete. So, <coughs> can we sort it? Yes, we can. And this is a wonderful Australian story. It's actually a Melbourne story, and a, you know the Zeebon story. Um, and uh, I, th I think it's a great story. You know, just using power station ash or whatever you want, else you want, crowd bits of plastic, just about any kind of waste you're going to be poured into concrete. It just forms this great polymer. Um, I'm exaggerating, of course, but there are lots and lots of things we can do with concrete. And I know there are big worries at the moment about whether polymer would hold up uh, for long enough one of your great big tower blocks or whether it's actually strong enough to survive corrosion uh, 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 near, near the sea of a, big, of, of, a, of, a big, uh, of a big structure. But we will have those answers within the next five to ten years. And in the meantime, I think there are lots of opportunities to be very creative. And it's just one example of where we can make big savings. 